Tsudete is the name given for a type of grip in Judo. Typically you will take your lead hand and attach it to your opponent's Judo Gi near the body. The most common type of gripping in Judo is Tsurite on the opponent's collar in line with their collarbone. Tsurite is often used in conjunction with Hikite, a grip on the opponent's sleeve with your rear hand. You can see in this clip here Abe using Tsurite with Hikite to win by Ippon. Tsurite literally means lifting hand but it has other uses. Here you can see Maruyama using Tsurite first as a block to defend against his opponent's attack and then along with Hikite using the Tsurite grip to throw his opponent with Uchimata. If your grip's higher on the collar it's really useful in disrupting the opponent's posture and we see here Tsurite used in combination with Hikite for a Juji Gatame opportunity. Tsurite can also be used to enter into chokes. We see demonstrated by Hamada Shori. She pulls the Tsurite grip across the opponent's neck and that enables her to apply a strangle. Here's another example of using Tsurite to throw and enter into a strangle. Ähm, ja, ich würde schon sagen, dass es ein Vorteil ist, da ich meine langen Arme und Beine ausspielen kann und sehr dominant kämpfen kann. So hier ist ein Blick auf Anna Maria Wagner's huge Osoto Gaishi from a Tsurite grip. Now in a moment we're going to have a look at Hamada Shori, who you just saw strangling using Tsurite against Anna Maria Wagner. Both Wagner and Hamada Shori are world champions in the under 78 kilo class. Let's take a look at some big Ippons against players with strong Tsurite grips. So Wagner gets Tsurite and Hikite. Hamada only has Hikite and Hamada is unable to put her right hand onto the Judo Gi of Wagner. So Hamada spins under the body, pulls Wagner in towards her, catches her with Ochigari and transitions to a Juji Gatame. She did do some damage. Although Wagner was able to continue in this tournament and win a bronze medal, there was elbow damage sustained during this fight. So the Hikite grip enabled her to transition into that Juji Gatame as Wagner tried to avoid conceding the Waza'ari. There's a pull of the triceps and a push into the biceps and shoulder of Wagner using the forearm in order to finish off the Ochigari. We'll have more Hamada Shori coming up in a moment. But the next one I want to show is Chishima Maida in the blue judo gi. She does a Taiyotoshi drop somewhat similar to the type of rotation under the arm that we saw from Hamada and then she transitions into type of strangle it's called Sankaku Jime she basically takes collar grip and puts it under the neck of her opponent and then rolls over into a leg strangle so here's Hamada Shori again once again, rolling under the Tsurite hand. This time, Hamada enters into Newaza, then comes up to her feet, polishes the tatami with her opponent's head, and then establishes an Ude Garami grip, flips her with Sumi Gaishi. And if you're not familiar with Ude Garami, here's an example of what it looks like from a different camera angle, and she wins by submission. So three clips in a row of these girls spinning under Tsurite, but warning, results may vary. The next example we'll look at is Matthias Cass in the Portugal Grand Prix final. 
Both guys have Sudate. Cass breaks the grip and immediately transitions into Ippon Sayanage. As he's breaking the grip, he takes a small step to the left. So he's well positioned to whip his opponent over with Ippon Sayanage. Some coaches don't like just having one Sudate grip as it makes you vulnerable to your opponent's turning throw. Though I've noticed a lot of talented judokas, especially the Japanese, are very good at throwing with Sudate for Ippon Sayanage. And here's an amazing one-handed Ippon Sayo. Now we'll have a look at the 2019 match. Maruyama gets Sudite, but Abe controls his elbow and when Maruyama moves in for the Uchimata, Abe catches him with Kosoto Gake and wins the match in golden score. In a moment we'll have a look at another match between Maruyama and Abe. This is from 2018. This time when Maruyama takes Tsurite and Abe tries to control his elbow, Maruyama off-balances him and switches from a Tsurite to a sleeve grip and when he takes the other sleeve, he immediately goes into an Uchimata to Tomo Enage sequence. And having both sleeve controls makes it really easy for Maruyama to complete the Tomo Enage throw. If he just had Tsurite, it's likely that Maruyama would have been able to cartwheel and avoid being thrown. Now here's a look at Matsumi Tsunoda and Mumpat. Both of these ladies are world champions. Tsunoda gets Tsurute, immediately off-balances Mukbat, and when she gets Hikite, she's able to launch straight into a Tomoanage. However, Mukbat got revenge in 2021. This time, as Tsunoda took Tsurute, Mukbat immediately twisted her arm to off-balance her, and was able to catch her with an amazing Tanio Toshi for a big Ippon win. So I mentioned that a lot of Japanese judokas are good at taking Tsurute and throwing, for example, with Ippon Sayanage directly from that grip. But Natsumi Tsunoda is not one of those judokas. So she was able to beat the world champion Natsumi Tsunoda with that Tanio Toshi. But can she use the same technique to beat a high school student? Let's have a look in the final section of this video. We've got Wakana Koga. Mufat gets Surate. Koga immediately pops it off, takes her own Surate, uses some off balancing. As Mufat goes in for that Tanio Toshi, Koga sprawls the leg back and immediately transitions to Kesagatame against one of Judo's greatest Newaza players. Koga also beat Mufat. At the 2021 World Championships, Mufat's retired and is going to debut in MMA this year. The next video will be a short one on Uta Abe. My goal is to have it uploaded this weekend.